Hi and welcome to this basic Luminar tutorial. My name is Jason Teal and today we're going to take this photo right here and work through a couple of basic workflows uh, if you're just starting out with Luminar. Now of course right now I am not in Luminar but I'm actually in my Lightroom library. But we're going to uh, quickly jump from that into Luminar. In order to do this, if you've got it set up, is just right click the image and then go into edit in and then you'll find if you go down you'll see the option for Luminar you can just click that and it's going to bring up this dialog box and just click edit I always uh, edit with a copy of the uh, Lightroom adjustments anyway because I've got a really nasty dirty sensor here so I've kinda straightened the horizon and uh, cleaned up a few of the dust spots. So once Luminar loads up, which will be in a second here, uh, we're going to get to play around with a couple of different uh, just basic workflows. I'm not going to get into anything uh, too uh, complicated here. Just want to show you uh, if you're starting out um, how to get the uh, best results, I guess in the shortest amount of time. Um, so the first one that you can do is just basically use a preset. So if you go down to the bottom right hand corner, uh, you can click all of your presets. Now, uh, the ones I've been using the most for my images are have been uh, outdoor and travel. Now I've just picked up Cityscapes by Jim Nix and they look pretty good. So let's go through uh, Jim's presets. And I've been liking a couple of them. Uh, for example, the, the Golden Glow here, which is a great one. And now what's going to happen is, is it's going to quickly pop up and immediately change the image for you, just like any preset would. Uh, the reason I suggest doing this uh, when you're starting out is because if you really don't know uh, the capabilities of your image or kind of what you want to do with it, uh, these are a great way to sort of shop around for the look that you want. So. I can actually kind of go through and just see what the uh, different looks um, are for this image. Maybe I can click uh, loose on the swings or losing on the swings and just see how that goes. Now, sometimes uh, the images uh, won't always match the presets uh, and that's fine because you can go over here to your workspace now and just sort of tweak it if you if you find the look that you want. Okay. Because sometimes, yeah, they're just a little bit overcooked or just completely wrong. It's up to you what you want. But this gives you a better idea of uh, what you can do with just a simple couple of clicks. Now, that looks not bad. Um, but you can just click around and see which ones look the best for this image. And I'm just choosing a couple that uh, Jim has created here. That looks not too bad. And then once I'm done, I can just sort of click around and uh, see. Now, the cool thing about the presets is that, uh, like, for example, Jim has gone through and added in a lot of uh, complex um, edits to his preset. And then you can just sort of tweak them. So I can drag down the um, line here so I can get the top and bottom light lighting uh, correct for this image. Um, I can scroll up, uh, say if I want to make this a little bit brighter, I can do that. I can adjust the polarizing, maybe I want more or less, okay? So again, this is a really great option if you just don't know what you're, what you're wanting um, out of your image. And then again, once you're done, um, you can sort of play around with this and if you've installed the Lightroom plugin, you just click apply and it will uh, add the changes and send it right back into Lightroom once it's done processing. Okay, now we're back in Lightroom and I'm just gonna choose the, the same image just to sort of give you a, uh, a slight, uh, you know, before and after uh, and with the preset. So I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before, edit in, go down to Luminar and it's gonna 
bring up this dialog box. So I'm going to say edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments uh, because I've removed the dust and uh, leveled the, the horizon line. So it's going to bring up Luminar again. Uh, in another video uh, series that I'll be doing on my um, tutorial site, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, you know, install the, the Luminar plugin so you don't have to keep dragging and dropping into Luminar uh, each time. But anyway, so we've got our uh, basic image here with the little tweaks and adjustments uh, that I've made inside Lightroom. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on here. Uh, where under filters where it says workspace and um, it brings up a number of options now I mostly use landscape and so when you click on landscape you notice nothing's changed uh, and this allows you a little bit more control so if I want to say drop down the temperature um, add in a little bit of purple uh, to sort of match what Jim did in his Okay, I'm, I love the uh, accent, the AI filter. Uh, so I'm going to boost that up a little bit. Uh, and you notice already uh, the image has started to, to change quite a bit in the, in the favorable section. Now, um, what I like to do is usually bump up the contrast a little bit, uh, smart toning. Um, you know, it, it, it has some good and bad effects. Now, Depending on what you want, you can play with the highlights. Uh, I usually drag them down in this situation. Uh, you can increase uh, the shadows a little bit um, or decrease them. I'm liking the decrease. Now, you know, again, just all we're doing here is just going down the uh, workspace and just adding in um, little tweaks and adjustments. We're not getting too crazy, but with the landscape um, you know workspace you've got pretty much everything here okay uh, there's no foliage in here so we don't need that so if you want to get rid of something you can just click and it goes away okay now clarity maybe just a tad we'll see yeah it looks good you know same with structure okay we're not going too hardcore on this image, but I just want to uh, kind of show you that most of the images that you can create, you can just make by, uh, I wouldn't say playing around, but just, um, you know, just subtly adjusting stuff. Um, you know, just to add in, uh, you know, you just think of it as like sprinkling on a bit of salt, you know. And again, um, we can just choose these. Uh, settings and play around with them so you can uh, you know really make something a really beautiful in just a matter of moments here so again um, we've, we've gone through a couple of uh, adjustments but all we've done to recap is just scroll down the uh, the workspace options here okay and you see I made some changes so it's saying custom and in that way, we can actually save as a new workspace if we wanted to. And you you can see that uh, I've got one already here. And the the option of having a workspace is great because when you go into your um, photo, you can choose that workspace, and you've got all your favorite filters preloaded, all ready to go. I'm pretty happy with this image. I'm going to hit apply, and it's going to process and put it right back into Lightroom. Okay, so we're back into Lightroom, and I've I've got the last image uh, loaded up here, um, and you can see that uh, it's 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 a really nice and basic seaside image uh, that took only a few minutes to create inside of uh, Luminar, and we've got the uh, the faster version here, which is a preset by uh, Jim Nix, and um, again that took only a matter of uh, seconds to apply, and we got a pretty amazing results and then we've got our basic um, image here with only um, some leveling and uh, dust spot removal inside of Lightroom so again it all the 
All depends on what you want out of the image. You can go creative like we did with uh, Jim's preset here. So you're really maximizing the uh, the colors of the uh, the morning, or you know you can do a subtle enhancement and bring out uh, some of the colors. But the bottom line is is that if you really don't have an idea of where you want to take your image, then uh, playing around with either the presets or the workspaces is a good uh, workflow to just sort of begin the process. And once you start getting comfortable with adjusting the sliders and tweaking everything, you can start making your own presets or you can start going full on into some heavy editings with the uh, filters and whatnot. But overall, this is uh, these two steps, either using a preset or a uh, workspace are a great way to start editing your images inside of Lightroom and Luminar, sorry. Uh, so with that being said, uh, do check out the link below if you haven't got Luminar yet, and uh, do check out my um, blog post about this over at uh, jasonteal.com. Thank you very much. Take care.